Hi, I'm Andy Jones. I'm the owner and the curator of the UK's most infamous crime through time collection here at Little Dean Jail in the Royal Forest of Dean, Gloucestershire. Being open to the public, you meet every walk of life. You meet the good, the bad, the allegedly ugly. I don't glorify anything at all. It's just a collection where, whereby I think it covers subject matters that no other museum or tourist attraction would dare cover. But people generally take time to, to pay a visit. They, they travel from miles and miles away. We get people come over from America, um, Europe, um, which is testament really in is there's a niche in the market within the tourism industry. Uh, you'll see items on display which are very controversial to include the likes of say the Ku Klux Klan, Charles Bronson which is probably one of the most notorious and infamous and most feared inmates in prison well, in, in this country today, the Cray Twins, uh, I used to visit Reggie Cray in prison, the Nazi Holocaust years. We also have a two-headed calf, which was born up in Scotland. Other collections that are on display, you'll have the likes of, say, the SAS, which is a special air service, or the SBS, special boat service. Um, in many ways, deemed to be a bit of a secret society. Even ISIS, which is quite a you know, it's scary stuff now, but again, it's, the museum is called Crime Through Time, and that's what you get here. It is Crime Through Time. A lot of people will not have access to any of this type of material. As you can see, I, I also in, introduced um, newspaper clippings simply for the headlines really so in many ways as you can see with all the frames and it's, pro it's probably um, a Guinness Book of World Records. It was founded when I was probably at the age of 16 I used to go to a lot of punk rock gigs and decided to start collecting punk rock clothing, punk rock records, uh, police items. We wore quite a lot of unorthodox clothing, um, stupid things like swastika armbands, which, you know, we weren't Nazis or anything like that, it was just ignorance. One of the main reasons I decided to open the jail to the public was, uh, again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a form of income, it helps pay the bills, it helps pay the memorabilia, it's, a, it's not a profit-making exercise by any means. My family don't take any interest in it. We don't get involved in helping piece together any of the collections. If anything, they're, they're always scared as to you know, what project am I going to do next? Who am I going to upset? What we do try and emphasise, um, we're probably the only visitor attraction in the UK that actually tries to stop people or put off people from visiting the jail, mainly because of the content of what's in here. Uh, it's very graphic, it's very explicit, um, quite bizarre, quite taboo in places. It's not suitable for children um, and strongly emphasise that wherever we go and also as people come into the museum, the staff a toad to actually emphasise to parents and guardians this is not an attraction that's family friendly and not suitable for children. So what I would like to re-emphasise is that if easily offended, disturbed or of a sensitive nature, then do not come to Little Dean Jail.